30 essential Atari 8-bit platform games to rock your Atari 400 Mini, up next. The Atari 8-bit received a wealth of classic platform games in its lifespan, including arcade conversions, single, scrolling, and multi-screen games, all with some type of vertical and horizontal movement across multiple platforms by jumping or climbing. Some of these games add adventure and exploration elements, while others will satisfy your appetite for all-out arcade action. They all have one thing in common, though. They are all Atari computer game instant classics that you'll want to load onto your Atari 400 Mini, multi-cart for an Atari 8-bit original system, or in the emulator of your choice. There are so many games to choose from that we are forced to break this category up into multiple videos. We will mostly cover this prolific genre from the early years here, but have added a few modern takes on the genre also. To get on this list, a game can't just have a reputation as being good. I needed to be able to play it and have fun enjoying the gameplay, visual, and sonic experience. This was a very difficult list to get down to 30 and has been refined over and over many times this week. This video easily could have been 60 or more games deep with first round draft picks, so be patient. A second and third video are on the way shortly, and your favorite will most likely show up there if it's not on this one. Some of the classics and newer games that many people might expect to find here may have been moved to later videos, mostly due to time constraints, but some were cut for now to give me more time to playtest them and find their strengths and weaknesses. As far as similar genres go, I have left Qbert, digging games like Boulder Dash, and Frogger style games to another video entirely, because their game mechanics are simplified to basically a single action, and also because they would have taken up nearly two thirds of this list. Their time will come. Note, at press time, a few of these have been announced as being included with the 400 Mini. Nice job, Atari and PlayOn. Let's get started with a new game that shows off the true power of the Atari 8-bits in the right hands. Albert is a 2021 Polish release that shows off exactly what the Atari 8-bit can do color and graphics-wise for a platform game in the hands of experts in GTIA and Antic programming. And it's a must-play. Alley Cat is a 1983 Synapse release where you play a little black alley cat trying to find his way to his sweetheart through several mini games all tied together. It's a favorite among Atari computer gamers for its humor and unique gameplay. Beef Drop is a 2004 Ken Siders 
rest in peace, absolute fantastic port of the Burger Time arcade game through the Atari 5200 and the Atari 8-bits. Shown here is the demo version available for download, and some cartridges and possibly a ROM of the full game might be available online and at Abandonware sites. Bounty Bob Strikes Back, 1984, Big Five, the sequel to Mono 2049 featuring similar gameplay. In this game, your goal is to claim every inch of 25 mines by walking over each segment of the framework while jumping, climbing, or using one of the many devices you'll find. Bounty Bob is one of those classics that I had a hard time adding to this list. While I know almost everybody considers it one of the best, it's so difficult that I couldn't even get past part of level one. Bristles, a 1983 first star title, is a single or multiplayer game where the goal is to paint all of the rooms of a building without losing your paintbrushes, lives, before time runs out. Note, at recording time, Bristles seems to be one of the Atari 400 Mini's included games. Bruce Lee 1984 by Datasoft is an absolute classic platform beat-em-up hybrid. Released across multiple platforms, this game defined the genre for Western computer gamers but went almost unnoticed to larger video game audiences who will undoubtedly tell you that Nintendo created this genre. Note at recording time, Bruce Lee as Lee is included with the Atari 400 Mini. Conan, yet another Ron J. Fortier classic, is a 1984 Datasoft release, one of four on this list that uses the Bruce Lee action-adventure model to create a unique, fun gaming experience as you wield your power sword to find treasure and slay vicious enemy combatants.
Cranland, seen here in PAL mode, is a 2006 technical marvel Polish homebrew release that is a must play for all Atari 8-bit and Atari 400 mini owners who want to see if their machine can play like an NES. Desmond's Dungeon is a 1988 alternative software release where you must first run about a dungeon recovering bags of gold and then throw the bags up in the air to passing grabbers while avoiding nasty spiders and other baddies. Donkey Kong Encore RMT is a 2020 hack of the 1983 Atari Donkey Kong release that combines the RMT, Fandel, and KJ Man sound and music hack with the 2016 Paul Lay and Daryl 1970 graphics and playability hack to make the ultimate Atari 8-bit Donkey Kong. Draconis is a 1988 Cognito arcade platformer where the player gains control of Frognum in his quest to destroy the Tyrant Beast, an evil ruler of the dark and dangerous world, using his breath, transformational powers, and magical artifacts found along the way. Droll from 1983 by Broderbund is a difficult to master game where the goal is to rescue children by shooting a strange assortment of creatures that vary from hopping beer bellied aliens to demons, snakes, and axes flying through the air. Thank <laughs> you. 
Electrician is a 1984 Synapse game where you must try to reattach electricity to rooms in buildings after an earthquake and then explore an animal infested sewer. Goonies is a 1985 data soft game based on the Steven Spielberg film of the same name and is divided into a series of eight screens based on scenes from the film, each of which contains puzzles that must be solved by coordinating the activities of two of the kids from the Goonies. In H.E.R.O. or Hero, another all-out classic Activision 1984 release, you must make your way through the dangerous mineshafts, avoiding the creatures and lava, and find where the miners are located before you run out of energy. Jumpman 1983 by Epix is the first official release of this Randy Glover classic on Atari computers. This disc version was rushed to market and sold well in spite of a few glitches. The game pits you as a bomb diffuser who must run, jump, and climb to solve many unique gameplay screens. Jumpman Jr., also 1983 by Epix, is a slick, cleaned up distillation of everything that made its predecessor such a fantastic gaming experience, all crammed in a small cartridge with new levels and a very useful speed setting before gameplay. By the way, I also find this one to be nuts difficult, but I had to add it because it's such a classic.
Kangaroo from 1983 by Atari is a GCC port of the Donkey Kong-like Kangaroo arcade game that originally was released on the 5200, then released on the Atari 8-bits in the Atari Program Exchange, and finally as a bona fide cartridge release for the Atari 8-bit computers. Load Runner. In this 1984 Broderbund classic, The Bungling Empire, which was used throughout their library of releases, has stolen a huge cache of gold from its rightful owners, and your mission is to infiltrate and collect the treasure through 150 screens of platforms, ladders, and ropes. Mario Bros. XEGS Arcade is a Daryl 1970 graphic update of the already exceptional 1988 Atari Corp release crafted by Sculptured Software that does justice to the Nintendo Arcade game and is a must two-player game if you have an extra Atari buddy by your side. Monozuma's Revenge is an absolute classic 1984 Parker Brothers action game that had a very interesting start as a release on developer Robert Jager's own Utopia software before being cut up and squeezed into cartridge form for this commercial release. Mountain King, a 1983 CBS game that is much more involved than it looks, asks you to locate and retrieve a crown, then make it to the top of the mine alive while accomplishing quite a few steps in between and watching out for bats and other obstacles.
In Big Five's 1982 Minor Tool 49er, you play the part of Bounty Bob, and it is your mission to explore every inch of an abandoned mine, walking over all floor sections in each stage, while jumping, climbing, and using various different transportation devices in each of the 10 stages. Mr. Robot is a less forgiving, if you can imagine that, minor tool for Niner style, 1983 Datasoft release where you are in control of a robot and you have to guide him through levels using ladders, treadmills, trampolines, escalators, magnets, transporters, and other devices. Pharaoh's Curse is a 1983 Synapse game where the player attempts to collect 16 treasures from an Egyptian tomb while avoiding Pharaoh, his mummy, and various traps. In Activision's Pitfall 2, you play Pitfall Harry searching for the Raj Diamond, his niece Rhonda, and a variety of treasures somewhere in the Andes. Poisonous frogs, eels, scorpions, bats, and other hazards are in the way. This version is unique because it contains an entire second bonus game once you complete the first. Popeye Arcade Version is an updated take on the 1983 Parker Brothers game released with advanced graphics by Daryl 1970, where you, as Popeye, try to win Olive Oil's love by collecting her heart tokens before they hit the ground.
Almost every list I make will have at least one Paul Lay or Playsoft absolute classic, and Runner Bear from 2020 scratches that itch this time with its wonderful graphics, sounds, and just one more go addictive gameplay. Twilight World is a 1986 Atari UK release. Your aim is to escape from each of the 11 dungeons by reaching their exits. On your quest you will meet many different creatures, some of which are destructible by one or more hits from your weapon. Zorro, 1985 by Datasoft, is obviously inspired by Bruce Lee and almost pulls off being as good as that classic, with unique sword fighting and 20 puzzle-filled rooms that center around the Olay Hotel and a kidnapped senorita. That's it for this time. I added a link to the full blog post in the description where you can find links to these games. I've already compiled 60 more games for the second and third videos, so please send me the ones I should include to help me make the selection process a little smoother for the next parts. Until then, have fun playing your choice of platform game on your favorite system in the vertical blank.